Post number four, September 12th, 2010. Let me just clear things up. I know you guys are worried, but Jad Usable is okay. He finished moving out today and he said he's going back home. He's just taking this semester off. I'm not really sure what's happened. I have a vague idea, but you guys probably know more than I do. I'm Jad Usable's roommate. And obviously I knew something was wrong with him for a few days now. He stayed in his room all the time, fell out of contact with literally all of his friends, and I'm pretty sure he hadn't been eating hardly anything. After the second day, I couldn't stay in there anymore, so I've been crashing at a buddy's space, only coming into my room to get the stuff that I need. I tried talking to him several times, but he would cut me off or keep the conversation brief when I asked him about this strange behaviour. It was like he was convinced something was hunting him. Yesterday I came to grab my philosophy book and he approached me looking awful, like horrible bags under his eyes. He handed me a flash drive and gave me specific instructions. He told me that he needs me to do one last favour for him. He finally explained to me what has been going on, gave me the account info for his YouTube account and told me that he's getting away from here, that it lured him to play it again instead of trying to change things, and to upload the footage and inform people what happened. I told him that he could do it himself, and he got this wild look in his eye and told me that he is never looking at that game again. And that's the last thing he said to me. He never even said bye when his parents came to pick him up. I never even got to meet his parents. I honestly can't tell you what happened. When he spoke, it was kind of hard to understand him, and his fucked up appearance really distracted me. On the flash drive, there was footage of the game last night, a text document with his name and password for YouTube, and a third document called the truth.txt, containing what he told me were his notes that he'd taken. He told me that this meant everything to him, that I would follow his instructions exactly. Normally I wouldn't be so to the letter for request over a fucking video game, but the way he spoke and the way he looked made me know this was really serious, and I'm going to honour that. I've had this video since yesterday, but had to have someone help me use Pinnacle. That's not really my forte. That after watching it, I had to go back through and look at his other videos on his YouTube account to realise what was going on, and even then I'm really confused. The video I'm releasing tonight, the truth.txt, will be released on September 15th, just like he requested. I haven't dared to peek at it yet, so the first time I see it will be the first time you see it, out of respect for my friend. To answer your questions, no, I haven't tried calling him yet. I think I'll give him a call tomorrow to see if he's okay or not. He should have gotten back home by now. About the video. In this video, I cut straight to when he loaded the Ben file in the game. Looking back, I realised that Jad Usable left the save select screen in because it said different names sometimes, so my bad for that. But all it said this time was the same at the end of his last video. Link and Ben. Nothing different. I wasn't there when he played it, but it looks to me like in the beginning, when he first spawns, he's testing out his equipment or seeing what items he has or something, because apparently they've changed randomly before. Then after that, I just think the game got too personal for him.